So, just another quick video about Virtual GDA 2021 and a new feature that was added to the latest version of Virtual GDA 2021, which is built 6503 at the time of this recording, and that is Remember Recurse. So what is Recurse? Well, Recurse is actually just a way to look into subfolders. So right now I'm in a favorite folder, it's one of my karaoke folders, and as you can see, I have uh, 175 files here. But I also have a subfolder, you can see the little plus. And if I click into it, I get this one, it's Yule, which is Christmas in Danish. So I had 10 additional tracks in here, for instance, all I want for Christmas. Um, and I don't see those out here, no, all I want for Christmas. But if I uh, right click it, I can uh, choose Recurse, and the 175 files, then climbs to 185 files, because the 10 additional files for the subfolder can now also be seen. Get a little R uh, for Recurse, and you can now see that I have all the one for Christmas here. So that's Recurse, and that's been there for a long time. Um, so what's the new feature? Well, if I have a Recurse on, like you see I have now, 185 files, and I shut down version DJ, and I reopen it, I'm back to 175, and no Recurse for that. That's because it doesn't get stored. That's how it used to be, and it's been a request that it gets stored. So that is the new feature. So if I go into options here, and I put in recurse, I have a new feature called Remember Recurse. And I can enable that. Now, if I go into my karaoke tracks again, and I right click it, recurse, 185 files, I restart with the DJ. You can see it gets remembered. I now have my 185 files here. And that also works. Uh, this was a, a favorite folder. Um, and I guess this will make a, a lot of people happy because it's been requested for a long time. It now gets remembered. That also works in standard folders. So if I, for instance, go into uh, to iPod here and look at, for instance, some um, Caribbean files, you can see there are zero files I re because they're all in subfolders. And I, but then I select Recurse, I get 246 files. I restart with the DJ to show the new feature. And I still have my 246 files listed because the Recurse is remembered. So that's basically the new feature. It's not, nothing more than that. And then a small disclaimer because uh, I've seen a lot of people saying, how do I add new tracks to Virtual DJs? Like, just run Recurse. And that's not technically true. To, uh, to, to, run, to add new tracks to Virtual DJ, you use Batch and you use Add to Search DB. And then to analyze them, you use Batch and Analyze for BPM. But a lot of people say, just use Recurse. And it can be kind of true because it can actually be a, uh, an additional, like, feature of doing this stuff, but it's not really what it's supposed to do. Um, and why is that? Well, if you enable the right sub-features, you can get that to also add automatically and analyze automatically on view. So let's just check that out uh, just as part of this video too. So if I go into options, and I put in how to search to be, if that is enabled, then whenever Virtual DJ bumps into new tracks, then it'll add them to the search DB. And because Recurse make you bump into a lot of more tracks while clicking around, because it looks into all the subfolders then, then automatically more new tracks will be added. So it's not how you're supposed to do it, but it's true that if this, this is enabled, then it will happen a lot more. And the other one is Analyze and View. This one, analyze songs and view. If you do that, then they'll also get analyzed when you bump into them. So that means that Recurse can do more stuff, right? So you can see that's already happening in the background. So if I go back here, and start an analyzing a lot of tracks on view because I've just enabled it. But then if you look at it in a few seconds when it stops, now, 
you can see now it stopped. It's, uh, then it's probably done. Then it's probably analyzed all my 246 files because I have a uh, recurse on. No, that's technically not true because it really means it when it means, says unview and you haven't viewed the bottom ones. So if I scroll down, it's going to start analyzing again, as you can see here. So uh, it's not really a, a fail safe way of adding or analyzing tracks uh, if you want to do that in a controlled fashion. To do that, like I said, you need to use batch at search db and batch analyze for BPM. So that's just a small little warning here. So that's not really what recurse is for, but because of how it works and the additional features, it can kind of sort of do it. So that's probably why people sometimes mention that as the way to add new uh, new tracks to, to, to the database and as analyzing. But this was really about the, the new um, Remember Recurse feature that has been requested for a long time and how that works.